Okay, folks, it is time for supper now in Little River, South Carolina. Now, the place behind us is uh, open since we were here in November. Uh, this used to be Little River House of Pizza. When we looked at it in November, we were considering it, but I think it had closed down. We thought they were remodeling, but now we come back and it is Cuddy's Pizza. So, um, you wanted to try this because uh, they got a special going on. We're not sure if we're going to get the special, but tell us about it anyway. Well, I saw it on Google Pictures. Um, so, it was like two slices of pizza, a drink for like $8. So, we're going to find okay. out if they actually still have that. And they have garlic knots. They look really good by the pictures I saw. Okay. So, we like a good garlic knot. We like good pizza. So, we're going to go in here and see if they've got both. So, let's go. Okay, so their business hours, they are open Monday, looks like seven, to, well, no, they're not open on Sunday, that's good, uh, but 11 to 8 every other day. So let's go in, Monday through Saturday. Okay, so here is the menu, it's kind of up, up high, but there's that walk-in special. Uh, it says two in case slices, that's anything down there. You can get two of those and a drink for $8. But you can also have them make you a pizza as well, so here we go. Gotta move quick, I'm in everybody's way. And here are their toppings. They got quite a good number of toppings there. Right. So I noticed they got a brick of that. Pretty cool. Right, so I'm just gonna pan around the restaurant really quick. It's really small in here. This is basically it. So we've made our order. We're gonna sit down and then we'll talk. Okay, so it's kind of small in here. I don't think I've ever had a harder time getting out of people's way in my life. I mean, for the time of trying to take a picture of the outside of the building, the being in here and trying to get the menu, I was literally in some way great. But maybe that's a good sign, man. This is like yeah. really good. And I try not to be, honestly. Uh, just because we got a camera don't mean nothing, you know. And we, we try our best not to impede anybody else's. But I'm just honestly trying to stay out of the way and feel like good night. I can't, I don't know where to go stand. Um, but um, anyway, so a couple of things to make you aware of here. We haven't tried the pizza yet, but we just went to Captain Archie's for lunch. I was going to so. say, it's all one time. Yeah, this is the same day that Captain Archie's happened, but uh, I'm going to post the videos different days, but that's what I was going to tell next. Everything is one size. Uh, what'd she say, 18? It's 18 dollars. I'm sorry, I don't know the size. I want to say 18 inches. Too. I don't know. Yes. Anyway, there is no small, medium, or large pizza. We noticed that in the display, they were all the same. So there's only one price up there. That is a maybe that's what she meant. Eighteen dollars. I don't know. Um, but uh, pizzas look. I would say they were maybe a. I have to look again. Is it, would you say it's a large anywhere else? Yeah. Um, the back I was just going out to him, and it looked very good. Size was it? So are there different sizes? No, but that one. That okay. I'm trying to look over my you know how most pizza places have different size pans up, they tell you what they are. It's no such thing here, it's just one price, $18. Toppings are an additional $2. Uh, the other thing you want to be aware of is you have to, uh, if you want water, if there's no tap, water, you have to buy a bottle of water. $2. Yeah, I wish I'd known that for a can. Yeah. But really, it's in a Speedway gas station is right beside of us. We should have gone over and gotten a Slurpee. Because <laughs> Speedway and 7 Eleven have merged, so you can actually get Slurpees there now. Wasn't and big gulps, yeah. Um, or we could have just, we're literally a stone store from where we stayed. We could have just brought a couple of bottles of waters with us, but we didn't know. So it's so okay. Uh, I just have to have a lot of drink, y'all know that. So uh, we got a, I'm sorry to say large, it's a, whatever size it is, $18 pizza, $18 pizza oh. with pepperoni, mushrooms, and sausage. The ones in the display case look good. That's a pretty good deal, I guess. Yeah. Um, the only thing is like uh, Gino's, we did a review at Gino's Pizza last year, or year before last. That's here in North Myrtle Beach, excellent pizza place. But we went for the lunch special where they already had the pizzas made, and if you want an extra topping, they put it on there and they put it back in the oven. What happens then is the crust burns because it's already been cooked one time. So I kind of wanted to avoid that, could have just, but they had different varieties, so it really could have gotten just something they already had. 
but um, we both got a garlic knot to try. They're fifty cents. Garlic knots are fifty cents each. Well, I so, don't have like six at a time. You know? So what are our total come to? Like? Twenty-seven even. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Any more? I feel like any more. If you keep your meal for two people under thirty bucks, you've, you've, you've gotten a deal. So, um, anyway, we're waiting on the pizza now. We'll show it to you when it comes out, and we'll let you know what we think of it. This is just right here on Highway 17 in Little River, uh, headed up towards the North Carolina line. Okay, so this is a very good size pizza. I would say that's definitely at, at least a large. Yeah, would you not? $18. Yeah. But again, I guess it's just one size. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot more than we need after going to Captain Archie's. Yeah. But, this will be breakfast. So we'll probably morning. be taking some of that back with us. But um, we are going to try it out before I go back out to the fishing pier. That's why we didn't wait till later to eat because I've already paid an admission. I can go back to the pier tonight. and I'm going to get my money's worth. So anyway, we're doctoring the pizza up now with the crushed red pepper, the Parmesan cheese, and what you got here? Oregano. Do they have garlic powder? No, I didn't know. That's all right. Okay, so she found some garlic powder. All right, so I'm gonna move over here on this side while you try that. It looks very hot. All right, so when you are ready, so show that crust again. All right, good golden brown on the bottom. So the brown on it is actually. That's actually a sausage. Yeah, the sausage is a little different. It's not like little balls. It's actually, it looks like a little pepperoni, but just a different color. Hot. Oh, thank you. Here's a couple knots for you. Right. And thank you. And I brought you out homemade ranch and oh. some uh, pizza sauce. Thank you very much. Thank you. How many knots did you, I thought we ordered one knot each. We did. I guess he just gave us a couple extra. Listen, that's very good. Very good, like good Brooklyn, New York style? Yes. All Definitely right. worth coming back. You know what I'm going to ask you? I'm going to ask you this from now on, every pizza place we ever eat. Grimaldi's are here. <laughs> or Frankie, I'll just go do it this way. Frankie's are here. Let me eat a little bit more and ask me at All the right. end. Okay. All right. We're going to do this close out from the vehicle. Um, I'm kind of in a hurry. It's, it's about 6.30 and I paid for a full day's admission on the pier. You can come and go. And I didn't spend long out there today, so I wanna get back out there and fish the rest of the evening. So anyway, <clears throat> wanna give you a quick rundown of uh, Cuddy. Cuddy's Pizza here in Little River, South Carolina, formerly known as Little River House of Pizza. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're looking for this, if you're traveling north on 17, it's right in with the Speedway gas station. Now. Mm -hmm. They're in the same building, but they're separate. You can't go from one to the other. You have to go outside and go around. Yeah, yeah. go around. The reason I say that is I don't want you to think this is gas station pizza. It is not. No. This is completely separate. This is Brooklyn, New York style mm -hmm. pizza. Uh, it just happens to share a building, but like I say, you can't go from one to the other without going outside and going right. to the front door. Mm -hmm. So, why don't you start off and um, tell about what you thought. Um, so, all the pieces, one size. Um, $18 for cheese, $2 per topping, and I think it is a good deal, like if you wanted to get two slices out of the case, plus a drink, $8, I mean, I think, you know, that's a good deal. Um, pizza was they very have like, good. They had six or eight different varieties in there. Yeah, more. they had several, um, and then garlic knots, 50 cent each, I don't remember how much it was for like six or a dozen, it could have been, you know, different price, but um, pizza was really good, the crust was really good, um, the garlic knots, they were okay. I mean, there wasn't anything to be like, oh, I have to have their and We didn't discuss sauce. this, but I think we both had the same impression. Yeah, but they had a homemade marinara sauce for them, which I thought was really good. Um, he gave us ranch dressing. Not quite sure why he gave us ranch. Um, I did try garlic knot <coughs> dipping, and I didn't care for it. I don't know if that was for that or not, but pizza was good. Um, garlic knots here and there. Um, we'd like to try their calzones. I bet you they would be good. And this place, I mean, people are coming in <coughs> left, left and, and right, right getting takeout a lot, orders. Yeah, a lot of takeout orders. Oh, I mean, tons. I mean, so it's got a good reputation, obviously. And it's not been here. They were closed down in November when we mm -hmm. were here. They were doing some remodeling. Or I guess they had been bought. bought yeah, because the you could tell they were working inside yeah. when we looked in. Um, okay, I didn't remember that. Yeah, so I think it's definitely worth coming back to. Yeah. And I would come back and yeah. get another pizza. This is probably the closest we've ever eaten to where we actually stay when we come down mm -hmm. here. Uh, or at least it's right there with it. I mean, literally a minute and a half drive. Oh, yeah, not far. So, um, yeah, I, I was, I didn't really know what to expect. 
we wanted to do another review to be honest with you we were still not full but semi full from lunch i guess if i had one negative it would be i do wish they had uh different size pizzas because we were going to order a small we would not have gotten what we got except that's the only thing that that was offered uh we were not hungry enough to eat all that but that being said um, that's one of the better pizzas I've ever had down here, mm -hmm. uh, I think. It was very good. I mean, we've had some good. We've had basils. Loved it. It's gone now. Mm -hmm. um, we've had Geno's. Really good. Uh, but I don't know. This, this was this, this just really was good. I, I agree on the garlic knots. I thought they were, I don't know if doughy. I know they're bread. But, I mean, I've had other garlic knots that were just more, maybe more warm on the inside and just more. These uh, have been sitting fluffy. for a while. I'm probably not using the right word. But <clears throat> these were kind of like a little bit doughier than what I like. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, I'm like you, they were okay. Probably would not order garlic knots again, but you may like them. They're cheap enough, 50 cents each. They're and he small. actually gave us four. We have both just ordered one each because we just wanted to try them. The pizza, mm -hmm. that was as real Brooklyn style as you can get. I mean, when the guy comes out and he brings it, and he, you can tell he's an Italian, he's wearing a New York Yankees baseball cap. You know they know something about making pizza here. So, and everybody uh, was nice and friendly. Everybody was nice and friendly. Uh, Maybe they wasn't from New York, man. No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I, I have uh, my stepfather's from New York, so I can I can joke like that. Um, but um, and then I had an experience um, at a pizza place there. in Buffalo. Yeah. I'm trying to decide from the yeah. counter. They had all these different pizzas, nothing listed, and they all look different. Our so son's with us that trip, and he says, "I want to go to eat at a pizza place where they have a, new, a rude New Yorker running it." Boy, did we ever pick the one! And he was rude to me. He was rude to her. But anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just couldn't decide what I wanted, so I was asking questions yeah, about each pizza. They have like 10 different or 12 different kinds in the case. So she's asking what they are about the third time. He goes, lady, what do you want? You know? And I, I, I said, well, I said, other places put labels that tell you. So if you don't, did that, you would have, we'd have to ask me a question. We're reviewing this place. Now, though, that was funny. That was uh, Joe's Pizza in New York, or Buffalo, New York. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he wasn't the friendliest guy in the world. So anyway, but these people were friendly. I think that's what they we were, were saying. Yes. Uh, very good service. I'm impressed. If I was down here again and wanted a pizza, I think I'd just come right up here. Yeah. It's close to where we stay. They got uh, ample seating in there. They do. They do. But, I mean, take out pizza. But if you want to take right. something back, I mean, that's what I think. Probably 75 yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot. But, yeah, it's it's great. Just look for the Speedway gas station. You'll see it right here in well, the corner of the same building. 1442. 1442. I guess that's Highway 17 North. I guess. Uh, but, anyway, Little River, South Carolina. That's a great pizza. I yes, liked it. Yes, I did too. So, uh, anyway, we're going to go fishing. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.